Hello, this is Arun here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, agents and um, I use a platform called NA10 to try out the agent. So basically uh, agent is a, the newest version of our automation uh, capability, which is very, is getting a lot of attraction in our space. So just wanted to try it out. Um, so agent can interact with any human, bot or other agents and it's going to revolutionize the way we're going to we are operating in the future. Right. So coming to the topic, um, <clears throat> I built an agent just to provide some information on uh, a few details which we can use for planning a trip. Uh, let's ask the agent and see uh, how it does. But before, even before we go, there are some basics, right? So agent can be triggered by different ways. One of the way, uh, we can trigger is through a chat message. There are other ways as well. Um, so it can be triggered by a uh, triggered manually or through a timer or webho or from other uh, workflows as well. Right? But what makes uh, Nate N very special is capability of using an advanced AI, which is our agent. Um, you see the they have incorporated a lot of new uh, AI capabilities, just made it very easy for uh, low code platform users like myself uh, to, to try out these new capabilities and features, right? Okay, so to, to make an agent, to build an agent, uh, we would definitely need an LLM as a brain, right? In this case, I used an open AI chat model, but there are other options as well. So let's see, uh, once I click this, um, yeah, if you see, these are the different chat models which we can use. Uh, and if you have a subscription to one of these chat models, then you can definitely start using that. Right? And so chat model is main capability. And uh, um, we definitely need to, need to have a memory, right? So we need to have a context of what we're doing, what are the, what are the requests uh, which got recently completed so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time a new request comes in, can pick up the information you have already processed. Okay, and the last one is the tool. So tools are the different capabilities our agent has, uh, and we can keep adding as much as many tools as we need. Some of the some out of the box tools are uh, <clears throat> shown here. As you see, we can build our own workflow and uh, uh, custom tools. That's what I've done here to fetch the data of weather from Open Weather Map API. Uh, this one, and uh, I used an UI path bot uh, to fetch my code. Right. So, so that's an overall uh, architecture of what I've done. Uh, so let's see, uh, let's see them in action. So let's say go to the chat box, and I ask my agent, how can you help? So, okay, so it says that can provide me information on different spots, current weather condition, portal suggestion, crowd related queries, map expression, and other information from Wikipedia. That, that dial is actually cool. And if you see, it used to an um, open air chat model to get me the results. Okay. okay, let's take it to the next level. Let's ask uh, what's the current weather in Austria? Ideally, you should use the open weather uh, workflow instead of just coming back blank. Let's see what it does. Okay, so I have the current weather in centigrade. And if you see, just use the weather, uh, work, weather workflow I built and took Austin as a city as an input and I got back the weather information. Uh, right, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so let me ask it for some. If you put hotels to stay in Austin during my trip. Okay, so it rightly, it started a robot job because that's one of the workflow I did, you see the hotel workflow, right? So it took 
input as Austin and kicked off a job a job and ideally I should receive an email uh, with the information of the code. So let's see uh, if I go to the orchestrator. <clears throat> See the hotel job is currently running. Um, should I take an Austin as its input? You see here, Austin readily once the job completes. Uh, I should receive an email. It should happen any time now. Okay, so email should yeah. Okay, here we go. So so these are the hotel recommendations. Uh, Basic. Okay. Okay. So the, the last query I'm going to provide is a little bit complex. Let's see if it's able to handle it. But I ask, give me some tourist spots to visit, weather information, portals to explore, right? And I have provided all the information it needs to give me the answer. Let's see if it's able to bring everything together uh, and provide me the details. So as it's trying to pull, uh, let me show you one more thing as we are here. So if you'd see, these are the execution. So these executions, oh, okay. okay. I pull the latest one. So let's say this is, is the latest one. And so Dallas is input. This is weather information. It uses the weather map API and uses open a AI to get it into a, into a format which is readable, right? So there's a lot of pre-processing, but it's easy to use. So it made my life a little bit easier and not troubleshoot a lot of things. Similar in the, is the case with the portal as well, portal workflow as well. Um, let's see. So Dallas, just to input, we have the indicate we should restart the job and then we have a job ID, right? So if someone is familiar with UI path, they should be happy to see this integration. Okay, so let's see what my agent Smith gave me. Okay, so he gave me the weather details, portal. Yes, it's asking you we need to respond. Yes, please. So this is a test for the memory, which we included. I really should uh, understand my previous conversation and provide me the response. Okay, but you get a point, right? So it's trying to get me the information from different sources and uh, uh, and we can collaborate collaborate with different tools to get the work uh, things done. Uh, <clears throat> so I hope this was uh, interesting. Um, if you have any queries, let me know and uh, happy automating. Thank you.